Hello y'all, this is North America Divided, a mod for Hardspine 4 that takes place in a world where after the USA took a turn for the worst due to the outbreak of the Great Depression, it basically collapsed. America's neighbors, Canada and Mexico, also fell into hardship and ended up fragmenting themselves as well. We're going to be playing as the District of Columbia, which is perhaps better known by its other name, Washington, D.C. We start off with no national spirits, but we do have who I think is a former U.S. president as our leader in the form of Herbert Hoover. Herbert Hoover historically was the U.S. president from 1929 to 1933. The U.S. stock market crashed shortly after he took office, so the Great Depression in of itself became the centerpiece issue for his administration. Prior to becoming president, he was the Secretary of Commerce from 1921 to 1928, and before that he was the Director of the United States Food Administration and the Chair of the Commission for Relief in Belgium. We're taking a look at the Grand Army of D.C., and that Grand Army is one division. Inspecting our military technology, we have up-to-date weapons, Great War era tanks, level 1 anti-air and artillery, and as far as airplanes go, we got basic close air support, basic fighters, basic naval bombers, and basic bombers. In a focus tree, we're going to do State of the Union Address, Deal with Maryland, Refuse Political Support, Stack the Cabinet, Rally the People for War, Call MacArthur, Strike Maryland, and when possible, Integrate Maryland. President Hoover's second term has not gone well for the USA as a whole. Due to the Great Depression, a national emergency was declared and the presidential election was postponed. However, the show must go on and in front of a crowd, the president declares we are on the eve of a second civil war and that he will quote, put this country back together. Something that could be crucial to our success has taken place. That's right, Maryland and Delaware have gone to war. We got ourselves one more division, and thanks to that, we have doubled the size of our army. Far away from us, Texas is clashing with Louisiana and Oklahoma, and in the Pacific Northwest, there is a civil war in Oregon. Since we can't integrate any land right now, we're going to complete the focuses, create the Minutemen, expand the Minutemen, train the Minutemen, and ask for the support of companies. We have started fighting Maryland. We got four units in total. Three of them will push out from D.C. And while that is going on, the fourth one is going to try and sneak their way into the enemy capital. We have captured Baltimore, and in the process of doing so, we isolated a couple enemy divisions, which is bad news for our opponent. It looks like Delaware may possibly be killed off by Maryland soon. That would be good for us, as no Delaware would mean more land for the District of Columbia and a possible future peace conference. With one front dealt with, our enemy is going to send all their troops at us. In response, we are going to divide up our army and send one half west and one half east. By completing a CERN focus, we have gained access to a decision that will let us ready the Minutemen. Let's activate it and see where this goes. The men of the minute have been deployed and as a result we got six new divisions. While I am not sure how good they will be in combat, I will say I am happy to at least have some extra soldiers in the field. With the addition of the new units, we were able to swamp the opposition and because of that, we now essentially control the territory of two states. The war ended faster than expected, so our focus order is going to change a little bit, and because of that, we are going to do Integrate Maryland, work with Pennsylvania, sway them with Hoover, apologize for the Great Depression, joint military exercises, and begin integration. Pennsylvania is one of the most powerful states in the former U.S., but they are very democratic, and because of that, we hope we will be able to work with them. The integration of our northern neighbor depends a lot on how well we get along, and so to ensure everything goes in our favor, we are going to use political power to improve our diplomatic relations. Pennsylvania has chosen to voluntarily rejoin the Union, and thus they have become a puppet of the District of Columbia. We are going to complete the focus and integrate Pennsylvania, and once that is finished, we will annex them and get cores on all of their provinces. As we continue to grow, it is evident that the Great Depression is is not over yet. Across our new land, there are poor and homeless all over the place. We must address these problems if we are to continue taking back the United States. 
thanks to this event, we will get two awful national spirits called Growing Pains and Great Depression. In the Focus Tree, we are going to start and complete Take Delaware and New Jersey. Then after that, we are going to go over to the right and do Rebuild Congress. Since we annexed Pennsylvania, we were also given their military, which when combined with our own army, brings our division count up to 38. To the west of us, Ohio declares war on Indiana, and it also looks like the Ohioans may be battling Kentucky at the same time. New Jersey was given the chance to join us without a fight, and it appears they accepted our offer as DC now controls all of their territory. We are now going to go down Huber's political path in the focus tree by doing Keep Huber in Charge, the Second American Civil War, Deal with the Great Depression, Increase Local Autonomy, Rebuild Broken Factories, Recreate the Union, and Drastic Measures. Thanks to our acquisition of New Jersey, our army expanded again, and thus, as of early December 1938, we have 69 divisions. The Second American Civil War has begun, and the first state that will feel the wrath of Herbert Hoover's army in this great struggle shall be West Virginia. The attack has started, and there isn't much of a strategy here besides using overwhelming numbers, and hopefully that should be enough to take us to victory. Some focus changed our country name to the Loyalists, but on another note, we are going to set our sights on the states to our left and get ready to launch something resembling an invasion. An event gave us a war goal for Kentucky, so now I suppose we know who we are going to attack next. The Bluegrass State is having their independence guaranteed by Indiana, so effectively we are going to be able to get two states for the price of one conflict. And people say we are living in a Great Depression. What we're going to do to defeat Kentucky is have some troops make a distraction, while at the same time another force is going to go in and take all the enemy's victory points. Far down to the south at the old U.S.-Mexico border, Tamaulipas declares war on the Republic of Texas and Sonora attacks Baja California. Our army is advancing into Indiana, although it looks like Ohio, who they have been fighting for some time now, may be the one to take their capital. Things have become a little awkward as Kentucky, who we just recently defeated, was made into a puppet of the Buckeye State. The Second American Civil War must continue, and because of that, we are going to have a round two with the Kentuckians and their Ohioan overlords. Our plan to defeat our new main enemy is to just have an all-out assault and see how long it takes for us to capture the cities of Columbus and Cleveland. That's over, and in the meantime, we waited around and got some more war goals, which include Michigan, New York, Kentucky, who for some reason wasn't called in to help Ohio, and Virginia. We are most likely going to go after the latter two first, as Michigan and New York will be quite the difficult obstacles for us to overcome, and we should probably build up more strength before we face them. The liberation of Virginia is going quite well for us. We were even able to isolate like 10 enemy divisions on the North Tennessee border. In the focus tree, because we can, we are going to go back and complete the trained amendment focus we meant to do earlier. In what is either the greatest act of bravery or one of the most terrible lapses of judgment I've ever seen, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts has somehow got themselves in a war with literally every country located in the region region of New England. The USA must be remade and in the pursuit of that we are invading Tennessee and after that we are going to go after Missouri. We don't have a very big border with the Show Me State and so to help out with that we have made a fallback line that will be used to lure the opponent's army out into a wider area where we can take full advantage of our numbers. The enemy didn't go as far inward as we would have liked but the tactic still worked kind of as we have isolated a portion of Missouri's units around the city of Memphis. Our next potential foe is going to be Arkansas, who if the intel is correct has nearly a hundred divisions, so with that said, we may just try to attack them at a later date. We are going to begin expanding into the former Midwestern United States by striking at Kansas, Nebraska, and the birthplace of Herbert Hoover, Iowa. Over on the East Coast, for reasons unknown to us, the Republic of North Carolina has started clashing with the Confederacy of Georgia. With the Midwest subdued for now, we have turned our attention back toward home to the powerful countries of Illinois, North Michigan, and the Republic of New York, all of which have relatively large armies. 
We are going to try and defeat the first of the three giants, aka Illinois, by using a rather unorthodox strategy. You see, we abandoned the western part of our country and instead focused everything we have on an eastern offensive that is aiming to take all of the enemy's victory points. We took care of the Prairie State. Now we must deal with New York, who leads a faction. Just for this occasion, we built up an air force filled with close air support aircraft and bombers. These planes are going to be critical to our success in this war. While the battle rages on at the front lines, not New Amsterdam landed some divisions in Virginia that could have gone on to hit us from behind. Fortunately though, we were able to stop them by sending out some special armored divisions. We are making our way into upstate New York. At this point of the war, all we have to do to win now is basically capture New York City. We went ahead and invaded Michigan soon after we defeated the Empire State. The next five countries we are going to visit next are Alabama, the Mississippian Confederacy, Arkansas, the Colorado Empire, and Phalanges, Wyoming. The bulk of our army was sent off to fight in the south, while at the same time a smaller group is going to go and handle the Equality State. Oh, and in other news, the Democratic People's Republic of Utah is at war with Arizona. We're marching into Colorado, and after that we are going to make a move on our northern neighbors, the Republic of Wisconsin and the Republic of Minnesota. Currently, our soldiers in the American South are busy with Florida, but once they aren't, we're going to force Louisiana and their Oklahoman allies back into the Union. The Sunshine State has a somewhat small and awkward border with us, and so to fix that, we are going to invade Georgia, who is a puppet of North Carolina. This means, if you haven't guessed, we got to fight two countries. We got a war goal in Oklahoma before we got one on Louisiana, and surprisingly, they didn't call on their ally to help them when we started taking over their land. And up in New England, we are going to have some soldiers invade a relatively large Republic of Maine. Continuing our expansion with the power of our military, we are going to incorporate both North and South Dakota back into the ever-returning USA. It's 1947, so unsurprisingly, we have gained access to new and oh boy, we are going to use quite a few of them on Louisiana. We have made our way to what I guess could be considered part of the Great Plains to bring the famous U.S. state of Saskatchewan under our control as well as North Dakota. Okay, jokes aside, usually we wouldn't be trying to bring a former Canadian province into the fold, but Saskatchewan just had to decide to eat Montana. Preparations are being made to invade Texas. While that is going on, we're going to have some divisions go fight and eventually annex South Carolina, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. The enemy opposition near Fort Worth and Dallas is somewhat inconvenient, so to address that, we have decided to use seven nukes at once in that general area. We're going to continue our drive into the American Southwest by advancing into New Mexico, Communist Utah, and the Republic of California. We have almost reached the Pacific Ocean with the Golden State in front of us and 46 nuclear bombs ready to be used. This is going to get interesting. Did you know that Herbert Hoover was nicknamed the Great Humanitarian? Fascinating, isn't it? There is only a few more states for us to defeat. Fortunately, they decided to make things easy for us by having most of them get together in one faction. To get better access to Neo-Africa and Washington, we are going to invade the Socialist Republic of Oregon. It is done. The man, some may say, is responsible for America's collapse in the first place, has gone and reunited the entire contiguous USA. I know we have no Hawaii or Alaska, but I'd say there is fair compensation in the pieces of Canada and Mexico we now control. The video is going to stop here. If you enjoyed the mod, check it out in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Have an awesome day. I'll see See y'all later. Bye.